Assalamu alaikum. My name is Naveed Ahmed and I'm a surgeon. To be a good surgeon, you need to be well trained. I just wanted to ask Dr. Naik to do dawah well. How important do you think training is? So that was the question that he's a surgeon and to be a surgeon, you have to be trained. To dawah, don't you have to be well trained? Yes, brother. But the question is, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said in Sahih Bukhari, Balligu anni walo aya, propagate even if you know one verse. So if you know one verse, at least go and convey that. If you say that I will wait till I become like Sheikh Ahmad and then start doing dawah, the time will never come. So the thing, the criteria for doing surgery is you have to get a degree. If you don't get a degree and if you do surgery, you may be arrested or you may put behind bars. Fine. Similarly for dawah, even if you know one verse, as long as you know it correctly, you have to do dawah. Now as in medicine, you may have MBBS, then there is MD, then there is DM. MS is there, then MCH is there, fine. The more you keep on spending time, the more you'll become an expert. Now for doing a surgery, you may spend minimum about six, seven years, correct? Only after passing your 12th standard or A-level, whatever it is here. How much time have you spent for dawa? How much? So when we want to become an engineer, you spend four years. When you want to become a doctor, you spend five years. Dawa you want to do overnight. You can't become an expert overnight, but at least you make a beginning, at least open your mouth. As far as I'm concerned, in my childhood, I was a stammerer. Even in my adulthood, I was a stammerer. If you ask me what was my name, my name is Aza, 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 Aza. That was me. When I met Sheikh Ahmad Dizad, I was inspired by him. And I started doing dawah. And I realized when I spoke with non-Muslims, I never used to stammer. Normal or normal human being, when he comes on the stage, he will stammer. In my dreams, I could have dreamt of becoming the best surgeon in the world. I could have dreamt, you know, in your dreams you can dream anything. But I couldn't dream of speaking in front of 25 people. I was a stammerer. And now, Alhamdulillah, with Allah's help, I'm giving talks in front of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands. I haven't given a talk in front of a million people live, Alhamdulillah. So if you go back, if you see my life back, I would be the last person, one of the last category who could do dawa. But I did jihad. Jihad means to strive. I didn't take a sword. To strive and struggle, I did jihad. I strived and I struggled and Allah opened up the pathways. Allah says in Surah An-Kabut chapter 29 verse number 69, if you strive in Allah's path, Allah will open up your ways. I strived, Alhamdulillah. And the moment I got involved in the field of dawa, my stammering went away. Yet I do stammer sometimes off the stage. But on the stage, Alhamdulillah, Allah helps me. It's a miracle. I was inspired by Sheikh Ahmad Didad. Whatever I learned, whatever I heard from his cassettes, I started talking. I started talking, Allah kept on helping me more and more and now I'm here. Even if I'd been the best surgeon in the world, all of you wouldn't have gathered here, correct? And the respect that Allah has given me at this young age, even if I'd been the best surgeon in the world, the people that want to meet me, the people I meet, the kings, the sheikhs, the ministers, Alhamdulillah. I never did dawah for fame or popularity. I took up medicine, I'm a medical doctor because I thought it was the most noble profession. It is, Alhamdulillah, I'm not saying no. But I found a nobler profession. Therefore, I changed from a doctor of the body to a doctor of soul. But the best thing, brother, whatever you have heard today, people normally enjoy, they clap, tomorrow back to work, they are the same. When they go back to work, they should try and repeat something for me, what they've heard. At least 10%, if not 10%, 5%, at least 2%, start. And the moment you start, Allah will help you. So the moment you keep on doing dawah, I'll help you. I haven't done any course. I haven't been trained by anyone. Allah, mashallah, helped me. And without his help, it's not possible. But we have dawah training courses in Bombay, where we train people. It's a short course of about 30 to 40 days, where we train people. And believe me, if you hear the speakers of a foundation, all of them can quote chapter number, verse number, Bible, Bhagavad Gita, Hadith, Quran, Alhamdulillah, at the fingertips. First is the help of Allah. Second is hard work. Third is technique. So number one is Allah's help. Hard work is from you. Technique we give, that is the least important. But you don't wait till you become an expert. What do you know? Start and then Allah will help you more. Hope that answers the question.